it's actually this story that I think Harry would like a lot. There aren't many people, there are many people, I should say, who are ready to stand up and champion Yorkshire and its countless traditions and quirks. But one man's classes on the Yorkshire dialect have become so popular, he's had to start a waiting list. Rod Dimbledis wants to keep sayings and speech patterns alive for future. So, let's say how do to Tom Ingle, who went lecking for a gander. When once stamped on every face, a yam to meal you can share. Inside yeah, Keithley Library, Rod Dimbleby is keeping the sound of Yorkshire alive. Well, they've been saying we've been losing it since the back end of the 19th century. And it is still about, but I think there's no doubt that another couple of generations, and unless we do anything, something about it. Why do you think people are fascinated by it? Well, it's such a lovely language. It's so colourful, it's so expressive. And it's just wonderful for storytelling. We are completely stuck yeah, on, the, on the, first the first sentence. The first sentence. Nice day for a stroll. How do you say that in Yorkshire? Rod's got more than a class full of people ready to wax linguistically lyrical. E by gum, my mother had a plum. She put it in tea pot, A by gum. She poured out tea, out roll plum, right across the table. A by gum. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you heard that one? No, <laughs> You're not a Yorkshire lad then, are you? Where does it come from? Uh, unfortunately, London. Uh, oh. I'm surprised I'm allowed in this room, actually. The BBC was told for years not to have a Yorkshire accent, oh. otherwise you won't get on the television. <laughs> well, you can actually do it now and still get on the television, so... I'm sorry, we're going to have to edit you out now. <laughs> Can you wow me with any phrases in particular? Well, I can't fill up brass is one of them. Because I can't fill... I've, I've can't, got money in my pocket, but I don't want to bake because it's too expensive. I can't foil... Can't foil it. T-H-O-I-L. Can't foil the brass. Can't foil brass. Some broad acres banter rises and falls with industry. Others are victims of time. Somebody's got to keep band in Nick. The band in the Nick? Yeah. What on earth does the band at the Nick mean? <laughs> Well, it's an expression that came out of the mills, and it refers to the pulleys driving the machinery, and if the band weren't seated properly, things wouldn't run smoothly. She weren't a bad-bottomed woman. What? <laughs> she weren't a bad-bottomed woman? <laughs> You're going to have to explain that one. <laughs> Nothing to do with her physical attributes. It means she was a good, decent woman. A woman of good models. The bottom coming. Well, at the bottom, she was good, solid base to her, you see. OK. Yeah. These days, I don't think you'd get away with that without <laughs> going on a completely no. different sort of course. No, it is a 19th century expression, that, yes, yeah, certainly. <laughs> right, then. Happen it's time I said, Sivy, if thou knows, thou knows. Tom Ingle, BBC Look North. Don't worry, I'm not going to do the accent anymore. That knows, brilliant. Reet, lad, how's the doing? I'm very, very well, actually, and I'm going to tell you it's going to be siling it down at the end of the, the week. That's proper York, isn't good. it? Very good. But before we get on to the forecast, that is an amazing picture. That's uh, that halo around the, the sun. That's caused by the light refracting through ice crystals. That's cirrus cloud, so thanks to Sue for that. And uh, this next picture is a stunning sunrise, and there'll be something similar again in the morning, not just in Scarborough, but across Yorkshire, because there'll be more of that high cloud around. If you've got any pictures, you want to send them in on Twitter, on Instagram, or on the Weather Watcher website.